fantastic adventure story you told. I'd like to write up a version of it sometime. A tale of twins in the very deep, dark forest. No such place. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I gotta get back to work. What was that? My instructional camping video. No, what did you mean by no such place? It's just that everywhere I've been, and I've been almost everywhere there is to go, I've never heard a very deep, dark forest. Yeah? Well, maybe you got a better story? Ooh, I don't know. I think Sour and Sweet's adventure would be hard to top. Oh, I could top it. Easy peasy. Then why don't you? Here, stay with us. Tell us a story. Yeah! yeah. Come on, Apple. We want to hear about your big adventure that's more exciting, uh, thrilling, and daring than the one Sour and Sweet just told. Okay, I'll just make it quick. Well, this story, it was the kind of thing that happens to me all the time. I'm sure. Well, it was... Adventure! Thrills! Danger! That's my life, don't you know? This particular time, I was reporting on the very bitty great race for my very best bits travel page. The four-leg course was an equestrian-style cross-country, a mountain climb, a hot air balloon race, and a sailboat race. Of course, to report it, <laughs> I had to enter it. Ah, thank you, Tea Time. Riders to your mouth! <gasps> These are the moments an adventurer lives for. <laughs> Contestants were already mounted on their steeds. I gave them a sportsmanly nod of encouragement. <gasps> Little did I know, they had no intention of behaving in a sporting way. There were Mr. McSnivels, Guava Guttersnipe, and Cruddy Do No Good. I felt there was something oddly sinister in the way they smiled back at me. But I paid it no mind at the time. Look at her. Not enough she's won 199 races. She has to make it 200. Greed, I tell you, greed! Wretched girl! And her little turtle, too! This time she'll never reach the finish line. <laughs> Not if I have anything to say about it. Or do no good about it. <laughs> Sun in your face, the wind in your hair, the power of your noble steed leaping over every obstacle. What happened next, Apple? Yes, then what? Well, Tea Time and I were doing great. Way ahead of the pack. <laughs> ahead already? What a surprise. Nah, it wasn't any surprise. It looked like things were gonna turn out exactly like the other 199 races I'd won. But then, all of a sudden, without any warning, dastardly deeds threatened to thwart my stellar performance. What I didn't know was evil doings were afoot. Rabbit can resist it. Apple Dumplin's chance to win is doomed. <laughs> Genius, Mr. McSnivels. Pure G. Uh, just really smart. Thank you, Miss Guttersnipe. Hey! <laughs> 
suddenly, out of nowhere, my noble steed was out of control! Ah! I was about to find out why. It was broccoli! Come on, boy. Please, we have a race to win. Oh, well, tea time. Sorry to say, but it looks like we're doomed. <laughs> Victory is ours! Wait, look! Great idea, Tea Time! A rabbit will take a carrot over broccoli any day of the week! Curses! Foiled! Great. End of story. We can go to sleep now. Afraid not. These bad guys, they were really bad. And they were just getting warmed up. of geometry and mechanical engineering, I figured out just what to do. This one. <gasps> Curses! Foiled again! The villains! <laughs> what a couple of cheaters they were! Unbelievable! I mean, incredible! I mean, that's really obnoxious. I hope that was the last you saw of them. Um, not quite. Here, Apple, try some hot chocolate. Mmm, that's really good! Okay, well, what happened next? Did you win the race? Yeah, what do you mean, not quite? Ugh, you mean there's more? Oh, yeah. Did Gutter Snipe and McSnibbles come back? They did indeed. Because their dastardly deeds in the cross-country race were only the beginning of their, um, dastardliness. Relax, Tea Time. We just gotta get to the top, down the other side, fly a hot air balloon to the lake and sail across it to the finish line. Easy peasy. Always going swimmingly, or should I say climbingly, when out of a blue and sunny sky, we were hit by a blizzard. What I didn't know at the time was, it wasn't a blizzard at all. It looked like we were doomed. Until, all of a sudden, I spotted shelter. What was that? The legendary abominable snow beast of very big peak. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Some may have trembled in fear. Some may have fled for their very lives. Not me. No matter what the cost, I had to find out what it was. Well, what was it? What did you find? Weren't you afraid? Me? <laughs> Terrified. Farther and farther, we ventured into the darkness, not knowing what sort of beast we would encounter. Yole, yole, yole. 
For the love of Lederhosen, who are you? I'm Apple Dumplin' and this is Tea Time Turtle. We're competing in the very bitty great race. I'm Ilsa and this is my twin sister Elsa. Do you yodel? Do I what? Yodel? Like this. Yodle, yodle, yodle. Wait! We agreed to yodel always in the key of B flat. Ah, says you, it was the key of C. B flat. C. B flat. C. Um, excuse me. Perhaps this key would work for both of you. Bless my strudel, a D sharp person. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, shall we try? And the one, and the two. Yole, yole, yole. My goodness gracious, we rocked! <laughs> <laughs> There's the balloon launch! You better get over there. You are in first place. You want to keep it that way, yeah? Well, this tunnel turned out to be kind of a shortcut, so I think I better wait until the rest of the contestants catch up. Only fair. Ugh, oh, sauerkraut, who will know? You could get a big head start! A race is only fun if it's fair. Come on, Tea Time. We'll wait at the balloon launch. Good luck, Apple Dumpling. And remember, wherever you go, keep yodeling! A race is only fun if it's fair. That's what I told him. So you can imagine my shock to find Cruddy do no good, doing no good. What'd she do? What was it? Untying all the balloons so she wouldn't have any competition. Hey, you can't do that. It's not fair. <clears throat> fair schmear. <sighs> See if I care. <laughs> she did it. Hold on, tea time! <laughs> Quick! After her! Well, tea time, looks like we lost him. <laughs> Ridiculous. May I continue? Oh, oh yes! yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Morning or noonin' or afternoonin'. Welcome to Fern Fron's Tropical Fruit Stand. I'm Fern Fron, but you can call me Fern, friend. Nice to meet you, Fern. Fern, uh, I'm Apple Dumplin', and I'm competing in the Berry Bitty Great Race. Ooh, you're about a mountain off 
course. I saw some real treachery going on up there in the sky. Could it be someone wasn't playing nice with others? Hmm, pretty much, yeah. Hmm, sorry about that. How about a frozen banana chocolate pop? A Fern Franz specialty. Actually, would it be possible for me to purchase this banana peel? Certainly, but what would you want with that? Uh, ha! Looks like you've got someone who doesn't play well with others heading your way. Peel? Sure thing. Come on, tea time. They're gaining on us. <gasps> hey, why? That's. That's. Stealing! Stealing, schmealing. After that peeling. Hey, that's stealing too. That's right. One bad. do no good. In all my days as head official of the Berry Bitty Great Race, never have I seen the level of treachery and dastardliness that you have displayed today. Wait, it's true. You never have seen, because you weren't there. You didn't see us. How do you know we did those dastardly villainy things we did? Uh, you say we did. I'm with Cruddy. Where are your witnesses? Witnesses, you say? Allow me to introduce you to our race rule monitors. You think we just sit around all day and yodel? We've been keeping an eye on you. <gasps> and it wasn't just bad deeds they were monitoring either. Apple Dumpling? For winning the race, and most importantly, for your good sportsmanship, I award you... First prize! What a great <laughs> story! <laughs> what great imagination! Apple's a tall tale natural! Good job, Apple. Gotta admit, that was the best story yet. <sighs> you win first prize for imagination. Imagination? What do you mean? I didn't make it up. Every word was true! <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Sure it was. Tea time? My scrapbook, please. Thank you. Wow! Wow! Wait, you mean that story you told really was real? Well, sure. Wasn't yours? No. no. We made it up. What? Why? It's our campout tradition. <laughs> Roasting marshmallows, hot chocolates, sitting around the campfire telling tall tales. We do it every year. Didn't you hear us talking about telling tall tales? Uh, no. I guess I was working on my camping video and I missed it. <laughs> you didn't miss it, because you told a great story. Well, if I can make up a story, Bitty great race is nothing compared to what I could tell in a tall tale. Ooh, <laughs> that's that's scary. Scary. But 
as it stands now. I'd say sour and sweet win first prize for imagination. Thanks, but you can't give this to us. No, no, it's okay. I've won 200 of them. In fact, did I ever tell you about the trans-desert treasure of the Lost Pyramid Road Rally? No, but um, what about your video project? Ah, that can wait. We're on a camp out. I want to do what you guys are doing. Great! Let me heat up more hot chocolate. Any more marshmallows? Well, there I was, in the middle of the greatest sandstorm to hit the desert in years. show is awesome! Just think, guys. If we like their dancing, and everyone at the dog show liked their dancing, people on the Berry web are gonna love their dancing. You want to post the video on your Berry Best Bits page? If it's okay with you, Plum. But... The music on this video is kind of hard to hear. Especially with all the barking. That's okay. I'll just use some other music instead. You can't use just any music. It has to match the dancing. Oh, yeah. I hadn't thought of that. Wait a minute. We happen to have our very own world-famous singer-composer right here in Berry Bitty City. I bet she'd be happy to write us a new song. <sighs> hmm. We love our queen. She's never mean. She's super clean. Like a big green bean. <laughs> oh, why is this so hard? Hiya, Cherry! Oh, hi, guys. Is everything okay? Sure. Except... No, it's horrible! I've been asked to write a special song to help the Queen of Baravania celebrate her reign. It should be easy, but it's so much pressure. I can't come up with anything! Oh, uh, maybe we shouldn't bother you then. No! No, that's okay. I need a break anyway. Maybe it'll help me clear my head. Well, if you're sure. See, I've got this Dance and Doggies video, and I want to post it to my Berry Best Bits page, only the music's too quiet. So I was thinking that maybe you could compose a new song to go with it. Well, you just need the old song fully produced. I could do that, no prob. How about you guys give me some backup? Yeah! Love to!
Thanks. That was fun. I just sent it to you on the Berry Web Apple. You can call it Dance Puppy Dance. Oh, super perfect. I'm going to post it with the video right now. Thanks, Cherry. Happy to help. Good luck on your song for the Queen. Oh, yeah. The Queen. <sighs> oh, great Queen. You're a ruling machine. You got style and taste. Like a fancy sardine. Oh. Well, there's the problem. I need fuel. I mean, even composers of the most important songs where important people were really, really counting on them had to eat. Oh, Queen, your rules are very best. Oh, my gosh, I'm so, so stressed. Still having trouble, huh? It should be easy. I mean, I write songs all the time. It's just this is for the Queen of Beravania. She's dependent on me. We're talking about actual royalty. It's so much pressure, I can hardly concentrate. Guys, guys! You gotta see this. You aren't gonna believe it. Look, Dance Puppy Dance has gone viral. It's got like a perizillion hits and rising. What is that song? Catchy, right? You're not kidding. It's super danceable. I've got to admit, that beat is awfully irresistible. I could listen to it all day long. What happened to our party? I can't write my next song while I'm listening to my last song. I need some peace and quiet. Oh, yeah. Uh, the song for the queen. Sorry, Cherry. I forgot. We won't make a peep. Cherry! <gasps> Cherry! Cherry! You aren't gonna believe this. Dance Puppy Dance just made it into the Berry Bitty City Top Pop Songs. <laughs> And quiet. I'm sorry we distracted you, Cherry. That's okay. It's nice and quiet here anyway. You've got to admit, though, it's pretty cool that everyone loves your song so much. I mean, isn't that what music is for anyway? Well, yeah, but right now I need a focus. How am I supposed to think up a new melody with that other one playing in my head all the time? I mean, you might think I've gone bananas, but it's almost like I can hear that song right now. Wait, I can hear it right now. I've created a musical monster. Cherry, wait. And we're on in five, four, three, two. Top of the charts to you, Mavis Maraschino here for another edition of Berry's Hits and Misses. I am out here in Berry Bitty City with the big scoop on the song sensation that's sweeping the Berry Bitty world. Dance, puppy, dance. Uh... Sorry, I've got to go and... Play your song on the radio? I, for one, cannot blame you one bit. Ooh, tantalizing timpani. What is the secret behind this mesmerizing musical masterpiece? <laughs> Look, I'm glad you all like the song, but... Like it? Raucous rhythms. Don't be modest, darling. We love it. Why, we can't get enough of it. Yes, I noticed that. Now, if you don't mind, could you please... Ask you another question? Why, of course! Stand up, get on Tell me, floor. Cherry Jam, move your body to is this the hip way to move to your groove? I know you if you won't dance you lessons, go game. see Plum Pudding and leave me alone! Diss me discordantly. We're only talking about your song. <sighs> I don't want to talk about...
talk about that song. I don't want to hear that song. In fact, all I want to do is go far, far away where I'll never hear it ever again. You saw it here first, pop fans. Exclusive coverage of Cherry Jam boldly bashing her own hit tune. Could there be more to this than meets the eye and ear? <laughs> you bet your downbeats, darlings. And I'll bring it to you live, or my name isn't Mavis Maraschino. <sighs> yes, no boom boxes, no berry web. Nothing but peace and quiet. Oh, Queen of Berryvania, this song is to explain to ya that we've got Queenie Mania. We. Oh, hi, Berry Kim Bloom. Oh, you guys aren't gonna turn on the radio or anything, are you? Oh, no, my dear. You see, we've got work to do. There's no time for radios when the berries need picking. Oh, that's splendid, because I've got work to do, too. Oh, very well, my dear. You go on about your business, and we'll go on about ours. And hop, hip, hop, hoop, hop. Heep. Now, where hop, was I? Hop, hoop, oh, yeah. Oh, queen, our queen, fair ruler of our patch. From the very biggest berry to the littlest of the batch. Uh, how we praise your, your beauty. Beauty, yeah, that's it. How we praise your beauty and the fairness of your rule. Oh, queen of berry vein, yeah, you... Then I'll destroy it! Mavis Maraschino here with a startling development. Earlier this afternoon, I paid visit to Dance Puppy Dance's composer, Cherry Jam, when Cherry Cherry, quite contrary, painted quite the perplexing picture. I don't want to talk about that song. I don't want to hear that song. In fact, all I want to do is go far, far away where I'll never hear it ever again. Why would the pop princess poo-poo publicity at the peak of her popularity? Has she cracked under the pressure of her? Oh. oh. Hey, what's up, Maeve? Captivating crescendo. Who in the name of pop culture are you? I'm Kumquat Cool Dude from Very Big City. Kumquat Cool Dude? Oh, I'm from Very Big City, and I've certainly never heard of you. That's because I'm so far out on the cutting edge of style and taste that only the coolest of the people been allowed into my cool circle of coolosity. You sure you never heard of me? Oh, now I remember you, of course. Uh, Mr. Cool Dude and I go way back, <laughs> way, way back. So, uh, tell me, Kumquat, from one trendy pop culture expert to another, what do you think of this whole dance, puppy dance craze? The Cool Dude is here to tell you, dance, puppy dance is super lame. <gasps> As anybody who's truly cool will tell you, it's, uh, well, it's musically horrible. And cool dude says, anyone who doesn't want to look like a total banana brain should just stop listening to it. How could that guy bash Cherry's song like that? So, if you want to be cool and, you know, sophisticated like me and Mavis, then by all means, turn off that song and never play it again! <clears throat> Yo, Big Mavis, am I right? Or am I right? Ah, uh, <laughs> However did that horrid song become my ringtone? <laughs> of course you're right. 
There you go, folks. You heard it from Mavis herself. That song is crummy. So stop listening to it. Stop singing it and playing it in public. Stop dancing and stop whistling. What this town needs is some peace and quiet so I can write the queen her song. Wait, what? Did I say the queen song? Uh, what I meant was... Oh, hey, and harmony. Cherry jam. But why would Cherry do that? I have no idea why you would pull such a charade, Cherry Jam, but I assure you that we will not stop playing your hip masterpiece. Fine then, enjoy the song, cause it's the last song from me you'll ever hear. I'm never gonna write music again. What? <gasps> what? I can't believe that Cherry is giving up music. If only we had kept it quiet. You're right, Orange, but it's just so catchy. It is a catchy song. And sure, we'd love to play it 24-7. And yes, we could all dance and whistle and hum along, and we'd never, ever get sick of it. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 But friendship comes before music. And if my friend needs me to stop listening to her super catchy song so she can compose a brand new super catchy song for the Queen of Baravania, well, I'm willing to do it. Oh, yes, How about you, Berry Bitty City? Are you with me? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. No more dance, puppy dance! Do we promise? We promise! All right then, from this moment forward, dance, puppy dance is banned from Berry Bitty City. May we never hear that wonderful tune again. Yeah! <laughs> Anywhere. Perfect. It's time to talk to Cherry. Once she sees how everyone pitched in to keep things quiet for her, she's bound to start writing music again. Hi, American Bloom! Hmm, that's weird. American Bloom, is everything all right? <gasps> Oh, uh, hello, ladies. <laughs> it really is a lovely day, uh, so if you don't mind, I'll be on my way. Barricade Bloom. Well, imagine that. <laughs> However did the, uh, that thing get in there? No, no, no! We <laughs> gotta get that berry. better. Nothing like a little nap to change your whole outlook. Maybe I'll finish writing the Queen's song after all. Oh, Queen, the land is so serene. Uh-huh. No. No! Anything but that song! Oh, you did it all right. How could you bring that song out here when you knew I didn't want to hear it? We're sorry, Cherry. Honest. Uh, we tried to keep it quiet. Oh, we really did. 
Did, did you turn that thing off? <laughs> How do you turn it off? Don't be boom box. Don't any of these switches work? I mean, seriously, who made this thing? The queen? What an honor to receive you at my humble tour of us. To whatever do I owe this uh, honor? Why, I've come to observe your progress on my royal song. Oh, uh, well, you see, the thing is that... The thing is, young lady, it's quite obvious that you finished it. I... I have? And I love it! Oh, well, actually, Your Majesty, I was working on another song. I mean, this one is for dancing. With a groovy melody like this, what difference does it make? <laughs> Everyone, please, let's put formality aside. Come join me as we get our bad seals down to the official royal song. <laughs> <laughs> Cherry, this is one catchy tune. I guess. Sorry if I was kind of a grouch. You're right. I should be happy if people like my music. But seriously, you've got to let me have a break from it some of the time. Of course. And we're sorry we weren't respecting your space. After all, the Queen loves this song so much, you'll need to concentrate when she asks you to write another. You really know how to cheer a girl up. <laughs> how about a dance? Why, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> A present for Blue Belly for reading us our favorite story at story time. Your favorite story? <gasps> favorite story? Wait, which is your favorite story? Huh. Beauty and the Berrykin Beast? Nah, Berrykins are too cute to play beasts. The Berry Sleepy Berrykin Princess. Huh. Hiya, Plum. <sighs> I'm still trying to find the perfect berry fairy tale to do as a surprise play for the Berrykin kids. Well, I just heard they have a favorite story. They do? Which one is it? Wait, don't tell me. Is it Goldilocks and the Three Berrykins? I'm not. Wait, wait. The Berry Frog Prince? Uh, no, but I. Wait, I, I know this, I know. Uh, uh, it's Little Red Berry Riding Hood. Um, Jack and the Berry Stock? I don't. Uh, I give up. Which story is it? I don't know. What? I thought you said the baby Berrykins have a favorite story. Well, they do. I just don't know which one it is. Oh, well, we can't ask them. It'll spoil the surprise. How do we find out? <gasps> I think I know who to ask. Bye, bye, <laughs> See you next time. Thank you for the very beautiful berry. Strawberry? I got your text. <laughs> I just read them their favorite berry fairy tale today. It's the littlest berrykin. <laughs> of course you can borrow it. Come on over. And they lived happily ever after. I love it! So cute! I've never heard that story before. Do you know if there's ever been a play version of it published? Let's do a search. Hmm. I don't see that there has. Well, could you and Huck adapt this story to a play for me? Of course! Oh, this is I'm gonna so be great! Excited, Huck. I know just the berry fairy tale to turn into a play. So, 
Welcome all to the first reading of our version of The Littlest Berrykin. Use your imaginations to picture the story. Imagine our stage and a backdrop like this. The narrator begins. Orange, this will be your part. Once upon a time, there was a king and queen, played by me and Blueberry. The king and queen were ready to retire to the tropics, but before departing, it was necessary to pick one of their three daughters to rule the kingdom. It all began one day as the princesses were playing croquet. Of course, they'll pick me. I'm the oldest. Well, you are the oldest, but that doesn't mean you are best fit to rule. The obvious choice is me. Oh, it's hot. I'm roasting out here. Sorry, Your Royal Highness. Is that better, Princess Vespalina? Cooler now, Your Royal Highness. Well, I am the prettiest. Therefore, it should stand to reason Mummy and Daddy will pick me. <laughs> Your turn, Strawberryta. Hurry up, little sister. Hmm. Ugh, she's so slow. They'll never pick her. You're not so speedy yourself, Lemonella. Well, the lab berries! I've never heard such nonsense! Well done, oh, you did! Awesome awesome try. Try. <laughs> Thank you. I think she cheated. My thoughts exactly. Lemonella, how can they be your thoughts when they were my thoughts and my thoughts first? Razbelina, just because you told me your thoughts first doesn't mean you thought them first. <laughs> You are such a dunderhead. Mummy and Daddy will never pick you to rule the kingdom. There is no other choice but me, because I am the choice that is best. <laughs> Sisters, please. <gasps> There's no need to fight. Our royal parents will make the best choice, and whichever of us they choose, the others of us will support. Are you a cuckoo berry? I've had enough of this. Let's go ask them now. <sighs> and so the impatient princesses, Lemonella and Rasbelina, asked the king and queen if they had come to a decision. <laughs> huh? Who, who are you? What? <laughs> well, what you waiting for? Have you decided to give the kingdom to me, or what? <gasps> Is that any way to speak to your royal parents? Uh, whatever. Hmm. How should we speak anyway? Good afternoon, your majesties. Like your sister, Princess Strawberryta. She's always so respectful. She cheats at croquet. Yes, that's right. She sure does. <gasps> <gasps> Now, princesses, your mother and I have made a decision. <sighs> it's about time. Give me that <gasps> crown. Do you mind? <clears throat> Our decision is this. <clears throat> Whichever one of you can bring us back the royal goldenberry will be awarded the kingdom. What? Royal golden who? Uh, well, I never. It's Better get started. It's a long idea. and challenging journey to find the royal goldenberry. <gasps> Well, what are you waiting for? Go fetch me that berry. Don't listen to her. Go fetch me the berry. The berry is mine, so mine it must be. Perhaps you weren't listening, my dear daughters. You must fetch the royal golden berry yourselves. You each may bring only one berry kin in waiting with you. <sighs> you! That's right. You! Step lively! You're coming with me! Y yes, Your Highness. That's your Royal Highness to you, Buster. Um, yep, sure thing. Anything you say, Your your High Royalness, Royal Highness? You there! Let's get going! Excuse me, Your Royal Highness. I'd be happy to help you find the Royal Goldenberry. But you might not want me, because everyone knows <laughs> I'm the Littlest Barrican. Littlest Barrican, I would be honored if you would help me. And so, each accompanied by their Barrican-in-waiting, 
the princesses set off on their journey. A journey that is sure to reveal who is real ruler material. The princesses are soon confronted by the first in a series of challenges. The road through the berry patch is blocked by a toll gate guarded by a troll gatekeeper. Uh, the troll will be played by Barricade Bloom. Uh, diamonds, jack of diamonds, <laughs> snarls and flea bites. What I need is a queen. But oh no, that won't work now. <gasps> huh? Hey, what's the big idea? Well, now, you see, a uh, toll, please. Look here, troll. Do you know who we are? I am Princess Raspolina. And I am Princess Lemonella. You must do as we say. Raise that bar. Let us pass. I command you as a royal princess. That's right. Mm. Do as you're told, toll, troll. But you must pay the toll. Listen, toll who takes the troll. I order you to do as we say. Hmm, oh my. In all my days as the troll who takes the toll, have I ever been treated in such a rude and unbecoming manner? The haughty princesses huff and puff and kick at the ground like goats, snorting and barking in an ever so unbecoming manner, and still refuse to pay the toll to the troll. <laughs> <laughs> They say... <laughs> Who needs your silly road anyway? We will find our own way! And what do you suppose? But they got stuck in a bramble bush. The troll who takes the toll could hear the princesses doing all kinds of mean and nasty yelling from the bramble bush. Hmm. Very unfitting for princesses indeed. Not another one. Oh my! A toll booth. Mm, what shall I do? I cannot pay the toll. Well, we'll have to go around. If you don't mind a suggestion? Not at all, little Asparagin. Maybe if you ask the troll nicely? Excuse me, sir. Uh -huh. I haven't a token, but I have a long journey and don't know any other way through the berry patch. If you let me through, I promise to return another time and pay you the toll. Well, that's more like it. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, thank you, sir. Ever so kindly. <laughs> thank you, and come again. Presently, Princess Strawberryta and the littlest berrykin arrived at a vast lake with no way across. But the littlest Berrykin happened to notice a boat Berrykin, who will be played by Princess Berrykin, pulled up at the dock. You must be hungry, littlest Berrykin. Perhaps we should have our picnic here, then walk around the lake. If you wouldn't mind a suggestion? Of course not. Perhaps if you offer to share our lunch with the captain, she'll take us across the lake in her boat. That's a very nice idea. We should share our lunch with her either way. I hope we didn't wake you, ma'am. Why no, me lasses. Just take it a wee nap. I am Strawberryta, and this is the littlest berrykin. Would you like to share our picnic? It's such a nice day for one. Arr! And that's mighty generous of you. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Myrtle Berries, how are we supposed to get across this lake? Let's order that scroungy old captain to take us. Good idea. I had that idea too. I just didn't say it as fast as you. Hmm. Ahoy, me hearties. Ahoy, your highnesses, don't you mean? Highness or lowness making a difference to me. I just had a lunch when I make a salty sea captain do a hornpipe on a yard arm. Arr! So, have you brought me dinner? Dinner? My daddy the king will feed you to the fishes if you don't take us across this lake in your boat, if you can call that a boat, at once. <gasps> Shiver me timbers! Play that talk! Who do you think? 
think you lovers be in your long clothes bossing me about? We are royal princesses. Permission to come aboard? Arr! What kind of rig you trying to run? And you don't even offer me any grub, like that charming lass what set sail to yon far shore for ye. Arr! Oh, no! Huh? Oh, did you hear that, Rasbolina? Strawberita was here ahead of us. Mm, sour berries. If you took her across, you simply have to take us. Arg! What care I if ye be marooned? I'm tardy for a game of darts at the jib and topsail. Gangway, ye horn swabbers! Wait! Come back! Now what? You two clowns, get in here and row us across. Uh, but that's stealing. That boat doesn't belong to us. We are princesses. Everything belongs to us. Now get in. Huh? Oh, over! I want to sit in front. Oh, there's no room for you. <laughs> now look what you did. Me? Yes, you. <laughs> Look, little Asparikin, it's the royal goldenberry. Ooh, pretty. Ooh. Mm. Oh, this is going to be very difficult. These poor plants, they need water. Your Highness, if you wouldn't mind another suggestion. Please, come with me. Look! The royal goldenberry! Royal raspberries! We got here before Strawberryta! Well, go up there and get it for me! For you? You mean for me! <laughs> <laughs> What are you waiting for? Chop, chop! Chop, chop! <gasps> I know! Whoa! Uh, hey! I said chop, chop! It's my idea! Get out of my way! Uh, Your Highness? Royal ones? We don't treat berry plants that way. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Crumbs. The Royal Highnesses, Your Majesties. Mommy, it's not fair. <laughs> it's all her fault. She told me to go around the toll booth. It was my barricade in waiting. She wouldn't do what I told her. I want a do-over. Yes, we demand a do-over. Now, daughters, calm down. Have either of you the Royal Goldenberry? Well done, Strawberita. Ever so clever of you, darling. Aw! In each of your challenges, you showed kindness, generosity, and resourcefulness. All virtues becoming to a ruler of a kingdom. She cheated! She didn't show any of those... those... things. Yeah! Things! Whatever! 
She cheated. We know. We were there. As was <gasps> I. The troll who takes the toll was kind enough to give us a report of your behavior. Lemonella, Rasbolina, I am ashamed by your lack of manners. He wasn't even there when we had to cross the lake. Oh, <gasps> but I was. <gasps> Princess Strawberryta was a sweet lass who shared her lunch with a sea dog. I'd scupper those two scallywags <gasps> and promote this lass to captain. I... <clears throat> Excuse me, Your Majesties, but I cannot take credit for the Royal Goldenberry. <gasps> <gasps> you see, there was someone who guided me all along the way and gave me good advice, and that was... The littlest barricade. <sighs> this royal goldenberry should belong to you. <gasps> Goldenberry Fairy, and I know everything about you, Princess Strawberryta. You are not only kind, giving, and clever, and humble. Did I mention honest? Well, honest, too. By giving credit where credit is due, you have passed the final test and proved that it is <gasps> you who are worthy to rule the kingdom. <laughs> Aw, you have been royally foiled! Well, darling, it's off to the islands. Oh, 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 oh I can help you. Oh, 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 no problem at all. Well, okay. My beloved royal subjects, my first royal decree is to promote the littlest barricade to royal counselor. Hooray! And so, the littlest barricade proved that it doesn't matter how little you are, you can still do very big things. And so... Under the kind, generous, wise, and humble rule of Queen Strawberryta, the kingdom flourished and everybody lived... Very happily ever after! Well, not quite everybody. You told me we'd reach a stellar kingdom run by a knockout prince by nightfall, and it's getting dark now! I said no such thing! That was your idea! It wasn't! I'm hungry! It was! This is your fault and your fault only! Strawberry shortcake. She's a very bitty girl with very big possibilities. And fruit filled fun is the secret to her recipe. She may be small, the task is too tall. She'll be a best friend, just give her a call. She's a very bitty girl with big possibilities. She may be small, but no task is too tall for strawberry shortcake. It was a dark and stormy night. Ugh, no, no, no. It was a very dark and stormy night. No, no. A very dark and very stormy night. A night perfectly made for crime. But little did the crooked criminals know, it was also a perfect night for Ace Detective Peggy Periwinkle to be on the prowl for purloiners, pilferers, and petty cooks. Not cooks, crooks. Hi, Blueberry. <laughs> Hello there, Scouty. Hey! Oh, hello, Strawberry. Cherry. What are you working on? Oh, uh, 
I'm just trying to write a detective story as spectacular as a Patty Persimmon mystery. I want to submit it to Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine. Wow, do you think they would buy it? Uh, not in its present form, no. I mean, here I am, the ultimate Patty Persimmon detective fan, and I can't even come up with a decent mystery to solve. It's absolutely criminal! <laughs> oh, what a good boy, Scotty. Aren't you talented? Oh, yes, you are. Is... Well, I'd love to read your story when you're finished. While you're waiting, guess what I just got in? The latest Patty Persimmon novel, The Mystery of the Mangled Macaroni. I ordered 200 copies. Oh, uh, my goodness. Bosley, could you please toss me down a mangled macaroni? Um, I don't think... Uh, I mean... <laughs> now, where is that bookworm? Bosley? Coming up, or down. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Don't mention it. It's her best yet. A master criminal creeps into a macaroni factory, makes off with the cheese, and, well, I don't want to give away the ending, but I can tell you, it's a shocker. Oh! Enjoy! Compliments to Blueberry's Bookstore. Oh, that's very kind of you, but I still have the mystery of the haunted cell phone and the case of the gone, gone gondolier to finish before I get to this one. Cherry? Oh, if I could come back for it, I'm only halfway through the half-explained case of the half-empty milk glass, and then I have Patty Persimmon's curious case of the crooked, uh, crackling... Cur curtailed? Patty Persimmon's curious case of the crumbling cookie. It's... electrifying. But we can't wait to come back for... Uh, the mangled macaroon. Hmm. Uh, we actually came by for... Would you happen to have the new Berry Big Glitz and Glamour magazine? We wanted to see where Cherry's latest song is on the charts. <sighs> Coming right up. Wait, watch this. Scouty, here, boy! Very big glitz and glamour magazine. Fetch, boy! No, that's point. Fetch, Scouty, fetch! I've been training him all week. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Scouty. Good boy. No, Scouty, it is not a toy. <laughs> now, now, really? <laughs> ah! oh! Now, where'd he go? There you are. <laughs> No, Scouty. Oh. <laughs> uh, here you go, Cherry. Sorry about the uh, slobber. <laughs> no worries. Thank you, Scouty. Thank See you. See you later, Blueberry. You want me to read it to you again? I'm glad someone around here appreciates Patty Persimmon as much as I do. <laughs> Say, I know someone else who loves Patty as much as we do. Huckleberry! I can't wait to read it, but I've been super busy trying to get Huck's Home for Homeless Dogs up on its feet. I'm afraid it's just not going to happen. Oh, Huckleberry, I'm so sorry. Hey, I, uh, have an idea that... <laughs> Scouty, down! That might help us both out. If you wouldn't mind coming out to... Scouty! <sighs> to Berry Bitty City for a couple of days. What kind of idea? Scouty! Hey there, Scouty. Tom Tom's town boy. I guess Tom Tom wouldn't mind a visit. Oh, yes. I know Scouty really misses Tom Tom. Tom Tom, uh... Mrs. Scouty, too. So, uh, 
I was trying to write a mystery story to submit to Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine. That's great, Blueberry. But I wasn't coming up with a lot of ideas, so... I thought since you're as big a Patty Persimmon detective fan as I am, perhaps we could write the story together? If they bought the story, you would have funds for your pet shelter. Wow, I'm flattered that you'd ask me, but... I've never written a story before. Oh, it'll be easy. We'll just... <laughs> Scouty, behave. We'll just write it like a Patty Persimmon mystery. Okay, I'm on my way. I'll be there tonight and... I'll be there. Tom, Tom, no. And this time we won't take a wrong turn. <laughs> okay, see ya. Bye. <laughs> Bye. We're not getting stuck in there again, right, Tom Tom? Wow, they must have added a tunnel since we were here. Hmm, I think we should go this way. That's okay, don't worry. I know exactly where I'm going. Ah, oh, mud pies. Could you please get that, Bosley? Certainly. Good evening. Blueberry's Berry Bitty Bookstore. Bosley Bookworm speaking. May I speak with Blueberry? Oh, she's right here. Uh, for you, Blueberry. Thanks, Bosley. Blueberry speaking. Oh, hi, Huckleberry. You're where? That's it. Bring her down. Tell them not to fret. We'll have them out of there by dinner time. <laughs> no worries! You and I are expert Patty Persimmon fans. Berry Bitty Mysteries Magazine is going to love our story. When we're inside, we need to use our inside voices and inside manners, all right? Now please sit. No, Scouty. That's Search. <laughs> I'm still training him. See? Like Tom Tom. Sit. Good boy, Scouty. So I have this idea for a brand new detective. Peggy Periwinkle. What do you think? Uh, sounds great, but isn't it a little bit like Patty Persimmon? As close as I could get. But don't you think we should invent something, I don't know, different? Oh, no. That's the whole idea. It is? Sure. Because anyone who likes Patty Persimmon will automatically love Peggy Periwinkle. I guess. I knew you'd like it. You know, I've always had this idea for a new detective team who would go and... Don't worry. I have it all worked out. Ready? Okay, take this down. It all began on a dark and stormy night. Uh, no, strike that. A very dark and stormy night. A night perfectly made for... For... Crime? Crime! Perfect! But little did the creeping, crooked criminals know, it also was a perfect night for... Patty, uh, Peggy Periwinkle, Ace Detective. Finished! The Berry Betty Mysteries editors are going to love it! It took all night, but it was worth it. Our story is great! Right, Huckleberry? Hey, oh, what? Yeah, oh, yeah, great. Hmm, well, what time is it? Time to mail our story. Well, I don't know about our story. I hardly had any ideas at all. Oh, that's silly. We're a great team. I'll meet you at Strawberry's Cafe for breakfast as soon as I mail this off at the post office. Bye!
blueberry pancakes, fresh and hot. Mmm, my favorite. Thanks for keeping breakfast going. Sorry I was late. I started telling everyone at the post office about the story How Can I Wrote, and before I knew it, I just had to read them the whole thing, and they absolutely loved it. Everyone said it was just like a Patty Persimmon book. Strawberry, I have found the perfect writing partner. I'm gonna tell Huck that after we sell this story, we should just keep on writing Peggy Periwinkle books. Wait, where is Huck? I thought we were going to... Have breakfast? Yeah. No, I mean, I thought he'd be here when I, uh... He already ate and left. I've said he had an idea for something he wanted to write. Oh. Sugar? Oh, um, no, no thanks. Okay, how about this? Hmm? A perfect day in every way. <gasps> Blue skies, not a shade of gray. But one thing's missing, and that's your smiling face. I like that. Really? Yeah, I, I hear it like this. A perfect day in every way. Blue skies, not a shade of gray. But one thing's missing, and that's your smiling face. Nice. How about this for the last verse? I could write this song all by myself. Sing it solo with no one else. But that would be lonely. It's true. Everything is better with you. They're writing a song together? That's just beautiful. I could write this song all by myself. Sing it solo with no one else. But that would be lonely, it's true. Everything is better with you. It was an even darker and stormier night than the night before. Peggy Periwinkle was looking for her flashlight when all of a sudden... Hi, Blueberry. Uh, hello. Uh, sorry I was late for breakfast. When I got there, you'd already gone. Yeah, I had to go and I needed to... I mean, I was, uh... Hey, could I get some paper from you? And pencils? Oh, well, certainly. You know what we say, a complete line of stationery is always in stock at Blueberry's Bookstore. Doing some writing? Oh, just, you know, good to have in case any ideas pop up. Sort of jot them down. <laughs> Thanks. Well, see you later. Wait! Um, did I ever tell you that of all the Patty Persimmon fans in the Berry Bitty world, I have the largest collection of... Patty Persimmon Mystery Club detective hats? Wow. And the most complete collection of official Patty Persimmon magnifying glasses. Incredible. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, look at the time. Gotta run. I have to, uh, wow, thanks. Blueberry, that's, that's just fantastic. Like to look at it again sometime, but I gotta, uh, see ya. I'm going to get to the bottom of this mystery, or my name isn't... Peggy Periwinkle. I think this will finish it. How's that? Perfect. A perfect day in every way. Blue skies, not a shade of gray. But one thing's missing, and that's your smiling face. Things are so much better when you're around. You pick me up when I'm feeling down. We make memories together that can't be replaced. I could write this song all by Back to 
together, two for one. We're there for each other, just Ta -ta. like friends no. should be. What's that? What is it, boy? What'd you see? Come on, Tom Tom. <gasps> Evening, Blueberry. Can I get you something? Your guitar? My guitar? I was wondering if I could borrow it. Of course. Are you... Well, I thought it would be nice to learn how to play. You know, music. And maybe sing and... Sure. You know, Cherry's a terrific teacher. Oh. Well, I'll just try on my own uh, at first. Thank you, Strawberry. Anytime. Becoming a pop star is going to be harder than I thought. I'm still not sure I understand. Well, Lemon, what I'm looking for is... Well, what's in style now? <sighs> well, what about this one I showed you before? I mean, more like something like... Oh, for example, what hairstyle did Cherry get the last time she was here? It's sort of low-key. I mean, if you're going for the newest, hippest, cutting edge... Uh, well, what if... Let's say Cherry, for example. I mean, I'm just using her as an example. I could say any pop star. I could say Delia Dragonfruit or the Four Berries or, hmm. you know... So, if Cherry, just for example, was about to perform a song at a concert, what if you did my hair like you think she'd wear it? Well, I'd have to ask her. Oh, no! Uh, don't do that! Because it would depend on the venue and the theme and... Do you have any other magazines? Sorry, Blueberry, but I gotta reschedule you. We've used up your whole appointment style consulting instead of styling. And Plum has a manicure in two minutes. Oh. Why don't you take these magazines home and look them over and decide what is you? That's just it. Me isn't good enough. But no matter what Peggy Periwinkle did, she could not solve the greatest mystery of all. Hi, Blueberry. I uh, hope I'm not too late to get some more copies of tomorrow's menu. Uh, no, that's fine. Just leave it and I'll have it, um, uh, done by morning. Working on another story? Mm-hmm. But Huckleberry's not here. Isn't he writing with you? I guess not anymore. Blueberry, is something wrong? Oh, Strawberry. <laughs> I think he has a new writing partner. Who? Cherry Jam! They're writing a song together. Oh, Blueberry. It was supposed to be a surprise. A surprise? The words Huckleberry wrote that Cherry put to music. He wrote them for you. He wanted to show you that he's a good writer, even if he can't write exactly like the Patty Persimmon books. Oh, no! I made him think I didn't like his ideas. I never gave him a chance to get a word in edgewise. Huh. Mystery solved. Okay, this is the one. This hat is going to give me the inspiration for great mystery ideas. You had good ideas. I just wasn't listening. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry about the whole misunderstanding about the song. Were you really going to change your hairstyle? But... You're the one who taught me that you always have to be yourself. Then you know people like you for who you are. Remember? I remember. Well, how about we start our story? This time with your ideas. Okay, but just jump in any time, all right? I will. It wasn't a dark and stormy night. It was a wild and windy day. A day that was perfect for... Stan and Stacy, Stealth Sleuths. I like it.
I just think for the grand opening of the marketplace, we need some grand entertainment. Oh, and not just grand, very grand. I got it. We could give a dance recital. Oh, I got it. We can juggle. Huh. I mean something big, something everyone will come to see. Something with star power. <laughs> you want a big star? Get Cherry Jam. Everybody else's. Only the biggest superstar in the whole very bitty world. Hey, why don't we ask her? Ask her what? To sing at the grand opening. Oh, come on. I was just kidding. Yeah, why would the world's biggest music star want to sing for us? I don't know, but could it hurt to ask? So, won't you please consider our request. Signed, your most adoring fan. Incredibly adoring. Incredibly adoring fan, Blueberry Muffin. Well, looks all right to me. Then here it goes. I can't believe I just emailed Cherry Jam. If she even reads it, the biggest music star in the whole world is going to come all the way to Berry Bitty City and perform for us? I don't think so. Yeah, Raspberry's right. She probably gets a million emails a day. Why would she answer ours? You guys are not going to believe this. When they see the real friendship in you. When they see the real star shine in you. Oh, I'll never find the right ending. When they hear the real music in you. That's it! <laughs> Sorry.
sorry. I heard you singing and, well, the words just kind of came to me. Am I ever glad they did? Thank you. It's perfect. Would it be okay if I used your words in my song? Of course. I'm Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. This is Pupcake and Custard. Oh, so cute. And what's your name? Uh... Buttercup. Nice to meet you, Buttercup. Are you... Do you smell cherry blossoms? Oh, um, no. <laughs> I don't smell anything except strawberries. Uh, you were asking? Oh, uh, yes. I, I was going to ask if you're out here alone. Uh-huh. Just sort of driving through, and I've always wanted to have a picnic. You've never had a picnic before? Uh, well, no. Well, I'll let you enjoy. It was nice to meet you, Buttercup. Nice meeting you, too. Thank you for your help. Sure. Come on, guys. Back to the harvest. <sighs> Just like I hoped it would be. Cheers! <laughs> the Cherry Jam Fan Club would like to extend a very big welcome to you and your entire entourage. <laughs> My entourage? You know, the people who go everywhere with you and wait on you hand and foot? Well, I kind of thought it'd be fun to kind of get away and come here on my own. I don't have an entourage with me. You do now! Uh, about Strawberry. Oh, shush. We're keeping you a secret until tomorrow. Come park over here. Here she comes! <laughs> Make Mary for Cherry Jam! Superstar! Uh, excuse me? Miss Jam? Oh, no. Please, call me Cherry. The actual for real Cherry Jam wants me to call her by her first name? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just try to think of me as one of you. Excuse me, but why the sleeping bag? We thought you always sleep in your fabulous tour bus when you're away from home. Not this time. I was looking forward to, you know, sleeping under the stars. Huh? You mean, like a camp out? Exactly. A camp out. Oh, do we have the perfect camping spot for you? Uh, yeah, that's right. Just stay right here. Uh, relax, and we'll get it all ready for you. Yeah, let's go, girls. Oh, you're gonna love it! Why did you tell her that? We can't let her camp out. You know what she's used to? Five-star luxury. Six-star. If we let her sleep in some old sleeping bag, she'll never want to come back again. So, here's the plan. Okay, do you guys remember the article? Okay, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, sure. right, so. Now, it's really not much. Probably not what you're used to. We hope it's comfortable enough for a star. A star of super magnitude. That means really, really big. Well, what do you think? It is really big, isn't it? Don't you want to see the inside? <laughs> of course. We copied your bedroom from your article. Bedroom of a star in very big glitz and glamour. Everything you have when you're at home has been duplicated here. Well, probably not exactly, but we did our best. <laughs> Thank you. It's very thoughtful of you. This is a camp out fit for a star. That's what my managers and my agents and my entourage would say. Ooh, her entourage! Well, see you in the morning. Just what I'd hoped for. Miss Jam? Cherry! Cherry? 
We brought you a little midnight snack. Cherry? Where could she be? <gasps> oh, no. Look! I guess she didn't like it. She didn't like it so much. She'd rather sleep outside. <sighs> we had our chance, and we failed. Oh, hi! Can you help me with these... Um... <laughs> what's going on? We need you to give the grand opening's guest star some information first. Guest star? Huh? Surprise! <laughs> Presenting... Cherry! Cherry jam? But you, you... <laughs> so that's why I smelled cherry blossoms when I first met you. Wow, you girls planned this? Oh, thank you. Our pleasure. <laughs> Here, quick. You don't want her to think we're just plain boring girls, do you? Well, we'll leave you to plan the grand opening. We have something we have to do. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Well, um, here, please sit down, Buttercup. Um, Miss Jam? Oh, no. Please call me Cherry. I'm sorry, Strawberry. I didn't want to give away the surprise. <laughs> I understand. I probably wouldn't have believed you anyway. You look quite different in person. I just dress that way because it's what my fans want. Well, I'm a fan of yours. Oh. But I'm also a fan of people dressing how they like. And I like the way you look right now. And I like that. I'm sorry, but it's not really me. <laughs> not really me either. But don't tell. I won't tell a soul. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Mmm, that was the best sandwich I've ever had. Thanks, but you must have had better ones in Big Berry City. Nope. The best part, too, is being able to just relax without people snapping pictures of me. It's so nice here. Well, can I show you where you're going to perform? Actually, the girls promised to take me out where I can do something I've always wanted to do. Something I never could do in the city with people following me everywhere. What's that? Take a walk all by myself and pick flowers. Oh, yes! Those big hothouse roses are your favorite. I read about it in Very Big Glitz and Glamour magazine. That's something my publicist made up. My real favorite flowers are buttercups. Hmm, uh, <laughs> of course. Does she like them? No. Aww. She doesn't like our flowers either. She doesn't like them so much. She'd rather settle for ordinary wildflowers. We had our chance. And we failed. Better make sure I can find my way back. If we can't do something to impress her, she'll never come back. Hey! Remember that article in Glitz and Glamour that said her favorite thing to do was have a boomberry pie party? Let's make her one that goes off like fireworks! Good idea. That's sure to leave an incredible impression. Come on, let's go to the cafe and start baking! Oh, she didn't even like the ones she picked. She ripped them up. Nothing's good enough for her. Come on, Orange. Yeah, come on! Yeah. This is everything I'd hoped for. Which path did I take? Hello? Help! Anyone? Hello? Hello? Thank you, Cupcake, for rescuing me. Oh, I'm okay. I just lost.
plasma voice hollering for help. A boomberry pie party? Oh no! They can't know that I've lost my voice. They will be so let down if I can't sing for the grand opening. She doesn't like us so much. She didn't even come to her own boomberry pie party. Refills? Anybody? If I have any more tea, I'm gonna float away. Maybe she didn't get our invitation? Maybe she's still in makeup? We better face facts. She knew it wouldn't be as good as she's used to, so she didn't bother. Well, should we? Might as well not let a perfectly good boomberry pie go to waste. <laughs> We put too many boomberries. Oh, failed again. Girls, the cherry gem you keep describing doesn't sound like the girl I met. We just wanted her to be our friend, for her to like us. <laughs> but I guess we're not special enough. I think I have some more towels over at the marketplace. I'll be right back. Disturb getting my superstar beauty rest? <laughs> Cherry, it's me, Strawberry. Can we talk a minute? <gasps> <laughs> so, I called all of you here this morning because Cherry needs your help. She does? Our help? What happened? Is she okay? Yesterday, she lost her voice. Oh, oh Cherry. terrible! She's got most of it back, but still can't sing her high notes. So I'm to sing the high notes for her. And she wants you to be the musical and singing backup. Really? We get to perform with Cherry Jam? Uh-huh. <laughs> There's something else she wants. Very important. She'd ask you herself, but she needs to rest her voice. Anything! Whatever you she name wants. anything for Cherry what Jam. Is it? Well, all she really wants is to be your friend. But she wants to know if you'll treat her like a friend, not a superstar. Oh. <laughs> My. We really haven't been acting like friends. We've been acting like Fans, who can help me paint the podium? I will. Let's go. Yeah, where's the Let's get going. Right. Oh, oh, welcome to the marketplace grand opening. <laughs> this could never have come together without all your help. And now, presenting for your musical enjoyment, <laughs> Cherry Jam and her friends. Wow. 
for Cherry Jam's tour bus. Oh, let's go reach on the floor! Well, let's get to work. We'll have Cherry Jam on our way home before you can say goodbye. This hoopla dies down. I'd like to talk to you about your absolutely fabulous fashions. Wow! <gasps> yep. <laughs> Here's your card. Raspberry, that's great. <gasps> yes. Wow. Yeah. What'd she say when you called her? Uh. Well, uh, I haven't called her. What? <gasps> Why not? Because I'm so scared, excited. I because what if it's if it's not what if she says who raspberry the dog trainer oh dress designer ah yes it's all coming back to me now the glitter gown well darling are you sitting down because congratulations we're hiring you to make six thousand and addresses for the annual Very Big City Firefly Convention. I mean, who needs that? You don't know that's what would happen. And you won't know till you call. Yeah, well, maybe later. I can wait. Well, we can't. But our, our game. <laughs> <laughs> the game can wait. She might make you a fashion star. Think of the fame! The fortune! The fans! Oh, uh, hello? Yes, this is Raspberry Tort, and I... You have? Really? Oh, 
Oh, you do? <laughs> Me? <gasps> yes! Uh, well, I guess... <gasps> yes! <gasps> well, tell us! What? Oh, she... Uh, they want me to come to Berry Big City immediate, right away, and talk about... Yes? Yes? Starting a new line of raspberry glitter. You know, glitter gowns. <laughs> Cherry, you have to help me. Tell me what to wear and what do I say and how do I act and... Oh, very Big City. You don't need any help from me, Raspberry. Just be yourself. Come on, we've got to get you packed! Oh, come on! Wonderful! Now let's... Uh, Miss Jam? Oh, hello, Berrykin Bruce. Came to give my apologies. I'm afraid your part still hasn't arrived. Part? What part? Uh, the hydraulic juicer rinser for your tour bus? Oh, oh yeah, of course. No problem. Oh, well, thank you for being so understanding, Miss Jam. I know how anxious you must be to get back home to Berry Big City and get your tour underway. Tour? Oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. Worry, I'm in no hurry. She's so nice. I'll get to the bottom of this. Yes, hello? Very Big City Motor Parts? I'd like to speak with the manager, please. Oh, uh, 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 Strawberry, uh, which one's dressy enough for Very Big City? Uh, we should ask Cherry. She'd know. Oh, uh, that's okay. Don't want to bother her. What's wrong? Strawberry, do you think Cherry doesn't want me to go? Did she say that to you? No, but she doesn't seem so excited for me. I just don't know. You're right. You don't know. And you won't know until you ask her. Yeah. Okay, <gasps> pretty pink or very merry magenta? Uh... <laughs> Be prepared. Good luck! Oh, wow, Raspberry! Have fun! I made you some hair scents for the trip. Good luck, Raspberry. Oh, thank you, Lemon. Did you talk to Cherry? Uh, I will, yep. Good! Good luck! Have a great time, Raspberry. Oh, thanks, Cherry. I just, um, I, I wanted to ask you, do you know which hair scent you think's best for Berry Big City? You're the fashion expert! <laughs> Goodbye, everybody! We'll see you in a few days! <laughs> Crumbs. Nice <laughs> shot, Blueberry. Plum's turn. Fumble and poison berries. I ripped my dress. <laughs> 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 Raspberry will sew that up in. Oh, that's right. She's not here. Ah! <laughs> it's an email from Raspberry. Listen to this. I can't believe what's happening. They're giving me my own design studio? <gasps> my own staff? <gasps> I'm coming back tomorrow to pack up the boutique. They want me to move here. <gasps> move there? <laughs> uh, well, I didn't think she'd be moving away. Well, it's probably just for a while. I know. Let's bake some treats for a surprise celebration for her. You mean a send-off? Strawberry's right. Let's not show her how much we'll miss her, just how happy we are for her. Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, girls! I mean... <laughs> Step aside! 
ahead. Make way for the future fashion star of Berry Big City. The fabulous ra ra Raspberry. Oh. She eats up the fashion scene. Oh. Ew, dear. I think we got off on the wrong stop. Uh, no, uh, this is it. <laughs> My home sweet home. You mean your old home. Girls, girls, look! It's Mavis Maraschino from the Fashion Further Forward show. She's doing a segment on me and my fashions. Oh, wonderful, <laughs> Raspberry! That show. What a welcome to Berry Bitty City, Mavis. That's Miss Maraschino to you, dearie. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you'd remember me from that time you interviewed me. I'm Cherry Jam. <gasps> Blad scarlet cummerbunds. Oh, Cherry, what have they done to you? Honey, I can get you a limousine straight to Salon de Vol. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just taking a little vacation here with my friends. And... They're holding you prisoner, aren't they? Oh, did they take your clothes? My lawyer can... Miss Maraschino. Mavis, doll. Mavis, please. Mavis, I'm quite happy here, and I am choosing to be here. Oh, well, you just say the word, and my people are at your service. In fact, I've been dying to get you on my show. Now, where's my little protege? To your best hotel! Oh, excuse me, girls. Gotta go! <laughs> Bye. Um, what was that? If you find out, don't tell me. I don't think I want to know. Pinched, pleaded Paisley, you poor dear. However, did you survive in such primitive working conditions? Da -da -da. This and... Do yourself a favor, my cashmere kitten. Leave it all behind, especially that. But, but this is my very first sewing machine. It's always been with me. A dinosaur, my soon-to-be superstar. Let it go. Fashion forward means forward, not backwards. Mavis feels need for major manicure. There wouldn't be such a thing as a beauty salon in this outpost, would there? Why, yes, there would. We'll be right over for an appointment. Now, shoo, shoo, shoo. Ra, 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 raspberry is on a busy schedule. Raspberry, we're having a little party at the cafe tonight. Oh, uh, I mean, <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, I'll be there. Oh, no, 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 Miss Meringue. That's so last century. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no, dear. You're thinking too small. Raspberry is not just a designer of fashions. She's a monument to fashions. Uh, no, 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 no. She's a winter, not an autumn. I want her studio painted winterberry rose, not fall mauve. They want to speak to you, dear. Hello? Uh, sure. <laughs> Whatever she said. <laughs> Don't mouse your nails. From head to foot, everything about her has to... Roar. Every shape, every color must roar fashion. Uh, wait. Ooh. And what do you call this? Blackberry seed facial mask. We wanted blackberry seed and guava. I am out of guava. No, no guava? guava? Very big city salons are never without it. And never without the snootiest stylists. Oh, but Cherry, dear, they're the most famous, most highly sought after. Maybe that's why they never make friends with you, like Lemon does. <laughs> this will never do. Don't worry, dear, Mavis is here. We'll have it all redone when you get home to Berry Big City. Strawberry. Cherry keeps saying what she doesn't like about Berry Big City. Now, you listen to Mavis. That's just what stars do. She's afraid of competition, so she's trying to convince you not to go. You mean, she's jealous of me? Uh, Raspberry, maybe you should ask Cherry? This is a bittersweet goodbye. Tears and smiles at the same time We know you gotta go and live your dream We've been together for so long You not here will feel so wrong But time goes on and we have our memories Without you, the sun won't shine as bright. Without you, things won't seem just right. We'll be so blue when you moved away. Without you, nothing. 
said she needs her beauty sleep. She forgot us? The raspberry I know would never accept an invitation and not show up. And I miss the raspberry I know. Cherry, is there any reason you wouldn't be happy for raspberry? Yes, there is. I mean, we're all going to miss her, but this is her chance to be a star. When you're a star, sometimes it's hard to be yourself. Raspberry isn't acting like herself, and the raspberry we knew was happier. So you're not jealous of Raspberry? Oh, no! <laughs> I'm worried for her. You know, the stars shine much brighter here than in Berry Big City. <laughs> Oh, not this cafe again. However did you survive with just one restaurant? Oh, uh, I, uh, I guess Strawberry's just such an incredibly inventive cook. We just never got bored. What's going on? Excuse me. Uh, hiya, Raspberry. Hi, uh, do you know where Strawberry is? Oh, Rice. <laughs> That's where we're going. I can't believe they didn't remind me. Come on, Mavis. I can't miss it. It's my very favorite event. Boats? Oh, wait. If it's boats you want, I'll sign you up at the Berry Big City Yacht Club. Look! Raspberry's here! She does care about us. Let's go back and restart the race. Hi, Raspberry. Glad you're here. Hi, Cherry. Why aren't you racing? It didn't feel right taking your boat out without you. Oh, I wasn't sure if you wanted me here. After last night's party, we weren't sure if you wanted to come. The party! Oh! Oh, I... Oh, no! Oh, don't worry yourself, kitten. Who wants to go to a dismal hoedown anyway? Well, I would. Oh, it's so not you, Button. Actually, it was a surprise going away party for you. Really? Jump in. Can we be a team? Sure. Hey, come on, Mavis. We can catch up. Bitter button hooks. You're not serious. Us in that? <laughs> She's my champion boat. Come on, get in. It'll be so fun. I am not getting in that bucket. This is not you. Mavis, watch out! <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Mavis, I think that look is you. <laughs> How could you do this to Mavis, Maraschino? I have nothing prepared for my next show. That was kind of you to lend Mavis your tour bus, Cherry. It was kind of you to throw her this going away party. Oh, it's not a going away party for Mavis. It's a staying home party for both of you. Are you sure you want to give up everything in Berry Big City? Nothing there can make me feel like a star the way my very best friends do. The way you do, Cherry. I'm sorry I thought you were jealous of me. I wasn't being kind, wasn't being me. I'm glad the real me is back. Welcome home.